Okay, for 10b, we already have it in the a proper form. We don't have to do complete the square on this one. Now, based on, the, on this, the, uh, the model that goes with that, is x squared equals 4a times y. If the x squared comes first, that means it either opens up or down, and because there is a positive in front of the 4 there, that means it's going to be a parabola opening up. Now, because we're matching the models together, 4a is going to be equal to 5, and if we divide both sides by 4, we get 5 fourths, or if you want to think of it as a decimal, we can do that as well. That would be 1.25. Now, for the center, or the vertex, that's going to be at 0, 0, because we don't have any parentheses around the x and the y, so it's going to be 0, 0. Since we know the a value is 1.25, that's going to help us now to draw the graph. We know it's going to open up and we know the vertex is going to be at 0, 0. We're going to go up because it has to, the vertex has to be inside the curve. So if we go up 1.25 will be right here and we're going to go down 1.25 and that's going to be the directrix that runs behind the parabola. We know it opens up so the directrix has to run behind it. Uh, so the focus is going to be at 0 and 1.25, which we're going to use the exact value here, 0 and 5 fourths. The directrix is going to be at y equals, because it's a horizontal line, you need to have the y equals as part of your answer, y equals negative 5 fourths. Now the last thing we're going to do is get the focal width. So focal width is the width at the focus. Uh, if you take your this right here, that means that your focal width is always the absolute value of that number in front of the non-squared variable. Focal width is 5. So it's always absolute value of that. Absolute value of 5 is 5. That means that from this point we're going to go, we have to split that, divide it by 2. So we have to go 2.5 to the right and 2.5 to the left. So 2.5 to the right and 2.5 to the left. We get these points here, and then we can connect it like that, and then that's going to be our graph. So the width going from here to here uh, will be 5, and that's the end of the problem.